So people seem to be really interested in the idea of morning success rituals or morning routines. But in this video, I want to share a little bit about what I do as part of my evening ritual. So to me, the evening ritual is a mirror of the morning ritual in the sense that they're both focusing you on what you want and they're programming your subconscious to be aligned with your goals. Now, the only thing absent really is like exercise or working out in the morning. But in this video, I want to share what I do as part of my pretty regular evening routine. What's up guys, Alex Hein here, author of the book Master of the Day. So my evening routine is super simple. Three things, no hour long ritual, all right? The first thing is that I do a little bit of winding down like a meditation or qigong. The second thing is that I again review my goals or the quote God consciousness concepts that I talked about. And then the third thing is that I focus on reading a personal development book. So you could literally do the same thing for your morning routine, but let's break down each one of those now. So for me, with the seated meditation, the whole point is to accelerate the process of letting the body wind down. And it took me a lot of years of working 70 hour weeks to realize something obvious, which is that the body is not a machine. You don't just work and then 10 minutes later expect to sleep. That's not how the body works. It's not just a button. We aren't machines. And so what I've had to do is I start off with anywhere from five to 20 minutes of seated meditation. So I get this little cushion that I have under my bed, I slap it out here in the living room, and then I just sit down, and all I do is I focus on the sensation of the breath going in and out of my nostrils. I set a timer, and then based on how much time I have that night, anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes, but what I've personally noticed is that 20 minutes is that threshold where I really start to notice a difference in my heart rate and my breathing. From there, I go through my daily goals my trajectory review, the God consciousness stuff, whatever you want to call it, but it's all about all the things I'm trying to create in my life. And I'm a big believer in, there's a whole book written on reviewing your goals as many times possible per day. And I think the book is called It Works. So it's this tiny little book that you can find on Amazon called It Works. The whole premise is think about what you want all day, look at a piece of paper of what you want all day, and it'll happen. And I believe that. I've seen it to be true in my own life. So I just review that in that little book that I have, what are the things I'm trying to create in my life? Some of those are 10 year goals. Some of them are three month goals. I want to think about them all every single day, especially before bed, because I've noticed that bedtime, especially dreams, it's one of those times where a lot of subconscious fears come up. And so if I'm watching things or thinking about things that arouse the emotion fear, I'll dream about those things and I'll feel it when I wake up. But if I'm thinking about all the things that are exciting me, I dream about that too. And I wake up with ideas. So it's a really powerful time, I notice, to prime the mind. So what I do is I just go back to that sheet. I'm reviewing all the things I want to create. I visualize them as if they've already occurred. I feel what the experience feels like having already done it. And then if any ideas come to mind, I jot them down there. The third part of this ritual here is reading until I feel tired enough to go to bed. So I've had kind of on and off sleep issues the last few years, and I've noticed during the best sleep years of my life, 11 o'clock, I would start reading. The second I felt like I couldn't read that line, or I kept repeating that line, that's when I was tired enough, and then I'd fall asleep. So for me, reading is how I allow the onset of sleep, and I know when I'm sleepy enough. Because otherwise, if I'm playing a video game or I'm on the computer, that cue can be really lessened. And I tend to, again, focus on personal development. Some people are all about fiction books before bed, but I found that I'm not excited to go to bed unless there's a book I really want to read. So I always read books that interest me and always about growth or personal development because again, I want to prime my mind before bed with all the things I want to improve about my life. And that's going to get those gears going and thinking and it's going to get that problem solving mechanism in the subconscious on. So that's a very, very simple five to 20 minute evening routine you can do before bed. I've done that again, probably at least for five years, especially during the worst years of my life. So before you go, the best way to stay in touch is to grab my free personal development and weight loss challenge at modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. You can also check out the last videos here and here. And again, the link to that challenge is also in the description box there below.